Hi everyone, today my group is going to introduce our faculty, which are faculty of Built Environment and Surveying. My name is Deji Cheng. Hi everyone, my name is Lam Gui Cheng. Hello everyone, my name is Mai. Hello everyone, my name is Nur Fazli Nabila. First of all, I would like to introduce a faculty at University of Technology Malaysia, UTM Johor Baru Johor which is the Faculty of Field Environment and Surveying, Babu. For the mission of the faculty is to be the faculty of choice for education and professional development in a built environment. And for the mission of the Faculty of Field Environment and Surveying is to to develop professionals who are responsible for shaping a sustainable built environment through synergistic partnership with the industry, professional body and alumni. In addition, for the number of students at Faculty of Field Environment and Surveying, the faculty has 1,800 undergraduate students and 700 active postgraduate, including about 200 international students. Furthermore, the number of professors at the Faculty of Field Environment and Surveying is 13, and they also have 33 associate professors and 113 senior lecturers and also five lecturers. So let's talk about departments in Faculty of Field Environment and Surveying. Basically, there are six departments provided in faculty, which are architecture, landscape architecture, quantity surveying, urban and regional planning, real estate, and job information. I would like to present the programs provided in each department. For the first one is architecture. We only have provide Bachelor of Science in Architecture with honors. For the second one is landscape architecture. It only have provide bachelor of landscape architecture with honors. The third one is quantity surveying. It has two types of bachelor programs, which are bachelor of quantity surveying with honors and bachelor of science in construction with honors. Number four is urban and regional planning. It only provide bachelor of urban and regional planning with honors. Number five is job information. It has two types of bachelor programs, which are Bachelor of Geomatics Engineering with Honors and Bachelor of Science Geo Informatics with Honors. For the last one is Real Estate Department. It also provides two types of bachelor programs, which are Bachelor of Science in Land Administration and Development with Honors and Bachelor of Property Management with Honors. Thank you. There are six facilities in Babu which are Convention Hall and Seminar Room, Teaching Rooms, Laboratories, Meeting Rooms, Library and Studios. For the first one, Convention Hall is located at level 1 in B12. The capacity for it is 400 packs. The, the second one, Seminar Room, there are four Seminar Rooms. For Seminar Room 1, 2, 3 is located at level 3 in B12. It can fit 40 packs, 60 packs, 30 packs respectively. And the big seminar room is located at level 3 in B03 and it can fit up until 100 packs. The second one is teaching rooms. There are two types of teaching rooms which are lecture hall and lecture room. There are 24 units of lecture room in public. Next is laboratories. There are 25 laboratories in Kobe. Next one is meeting rooms. There are two meeting rooms, which are meeting room 1 is located at level 1 in B12 and meeting room 2 is located at level 2 in B12. The next one is library. The Fabu library is located on the ground floor of B05 Fabu. It can fit up until 48 bags. The last one is studios. There are 26 units of studios in Fabu. That's all from me, thank you. For the part of partners and collaborators of Faculty of Built Environment and Surveying, know that there are at least 63 of partners and collaborators. 
one of the famous collaboration are uh, with Huawei, which was held at Dewan Sultan Iskandar UTM Johor Bahru campus on 2nd March 2020. The various activities in this collaboration, including talks by Huawei leaders, campus recruitment, and showcase of Huawei products and solutions. Last part, awards and achievements in Faculty of Built Environment and Sewing. There are 204 awards and achievements from 2005 until year 2018. The latest award and achievement in 2020 doesn't provide in the faculty website, but we know that students are actively participate in those competitions. This is all for our video. Thank you so much for watching and please comment down below if you have any questions.